at the dorm. It is 8.50 a.m. and I am running late for my class. Happy Tuesday. I'm staying in an apartment right now on Bleecker Street, so so much closer to campus, which is great because today I have my filmmaking class and I'm screening my first film for the semester today. Be good, be bad, we will see. I'm only like a 13 minute walk from Tish now instead of my usual 30 minute from my dorm. Hopefully that helps. Also because last night it was snowing, I got into the apartment last night. We are finally getting really cold, snowy weather, which in theory is fun. The reality of me about to be walking this right now, I'm not great. Here's the fit. I'm doing this layered lace skirt, which I just thrifted, and then my Doc Martens, and then just this t-shirt. I'm gonna wear my black coat, so it's really giving like Wednesday Adams today, but what are we gonna do? We gotta go. Let's try and make it. As we've been getting closer and closer to spring break, I will not lie, cutting it so close to class and leaving late is just getting progressively worse, but this day was exceptionally bad. Like, there was no excuses why I left this late, but got to walk through the snow. We can romanticize it. We can try, even though it was hitting me in the eyeballs. Made it to my lecture though, slayed, showed the film. Those were some photos that Louisa took while I was up there for like the critique because she was in it and it just made me realize how bad my posture is. But survived class and made it back to the warmth. Just got back from class. It's so cold outside and slushy and not very pleasant. Also, this mirror is so nice for the fit checks. I curled my hair this morning and like the cold and the rain and everything just kind of killed it. So it's, you can still see it a little bit, but it's a little dead. Um, hey guys, so welcome to another week in my life at NYU. It's been a little while since I've done one of these because these videos are, a commitment to say the least because the week's already so crazy so this isn't my dorm today's video is sponsored by heritage collection in new york which i'm so excited basically long story short heritage collection has apartments all around new york and they let me stay at their bleaker street apartment which is in such a good spot because it's right next to nyu obviously as you can tell such a close walk and so they wanted me to try it out for you guys for any of you who are coming to school here and are looking for places to stay because the dorming is so difficult sometimes and also getting a real apartment here is really hard to be in, like as a student just because if you're not here full-time the leases get weird and buying furniture and this is fully furnished you can sign less than a 12-month lease most of the people in the building are students too they also have a complimentary housekeeping service every month and in unit washer and dryer which is so huge because even at the dorms i have to pay a dollar for every separate load of laundry that i do but yeah i just got back from my filmmaking class. I'm gonna be staying here for two nights. So last night was my first night. There's two bedrooms in this apartment that they put me in. I slept in this one last night because it has the two windows. So obviously I'm a fan. Today I screened my first short film of the semester because basically I have this like nine hour filmmaking class two days a week. We are put into crews of four and so we all share the equipment in our crew but everyone in the crew like gets number one through four. And so basically like every week we go through and a different number Number has to screen their like assignment. So I'm number four in my crew. So today I screened it. It was called parallel action. Basically it had to be black and white, completely silent. For the parallel action, you just had to show like some type of literally parallel action. It went pretty well, I think. I was really tired this morning, but now she's done. I will actually play the short film for you guys right now. So if you want to skip ahead, then go ahead. But otherwise,
I kind of want to do stuff today. The weather's kind of bad, but I think we're going to go out. I want to go to get a bagel first because I haven't been to Tompkins Bagels in a long time. There's this little like cute grocery store near this apartment on Bleecker. So I went and got this little coconut coffee last night, which I didn't try yet. So actually, let me get that. We'll do a little taste test. Yeah, so they have fridge and freezer. Here's the coffee coconut milk drink the kitchen also comes with this toaster there's a kettle drying rack and then this like little stove they don't have an oven but they do have a microwave and then all of these cabinets and then here's washer and dryer kind of showed the room a little bit already but have my little suitcase they have these closets which i showed you guys last night i showed you the other bedroom so you can kind of see they're like the same but this closet is huge especially because i have to share a closet and then obviously the huge mirror which is fabulous and then the bed and then the two windows and they have a desk and a tv which is really nice not gonna lie i kind of took over here with my little setup the vlog camera she was charging and there's like so much room to plug stuff in the best part is you like would be sharing it with someone for the other bedroom but you get your own bedroom so it's not like the dorming sharing a room which is really nice can't wait to one day be there so there's another mirror here so all of the fit checks that you need. Yeah, that was that bedroom that I just showed you guys yesterday. Side table thing with these two bar stools. And then it actually had a little shoe rack, which is really nice because I hate wearing shoes indoors. There's this little mirror here, these lights, and there's some hooks on the door. And then the bathroom, pretty standard. This opens, where is it? She opens like this. There was like a hair dryer here too, which was really nice and a little trash can. And then there's a shower. Okay, let me stop talking. Let's try this drink and then we can go to Tompkins. It's really sweet. I don't know, I think it tastes good. I can't lie, Washington Square Park does look a little cute with some snow on it. Finally left the apartment and walked to Tompkins Square Bagels. The walk really wasn't too bad. Got my typical bacon, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel, except she did not serve today, guys. I don't know what's happening. They just didn't put that much in it. But either way, it was still a good time. Then decided to walk to Chelsea, met up with my mom, and we went to the Starbucks Reserve. Kind of playing tourist today. Kind of fun. Never actually been to a reserve, so we got these two special drinks. I think mine was some mocha cold brew, which was fun. And we got to sit by the fire, and then you can't really tell here, but then it started snowing again, so we kind of people watched, watched the snow, ran into anthropology, did little things like that. And then I took the subway back to the apartment and try to get some work done. So actually was gonna sit at the desk because that's so convenient that it's there, but ended up sitting on the bed by the window and did work for a few hours. And then my mom and I went and tried this new Indian place. It was so good, but we ordered so many appetizers because we didn't realize they were so big. So all of the leftovers went straight home to my actual fridge. And then we walked to Bao Nana's, which is another place I never tried, got some taro banana pudding and it was so good, except we ate it outside in the cold because there's like no seats in there so not sure if that was a mistake and then got back to the apartment again really late and went to bed Ugh, look at that view, the Bleecker Street view. You have been missed, you are missed. So woke up, made the bed because this was actually my last morning in the apartment and just wanted to tidy up and pack. Here is the outfits today. We're doing the green pants, just a sweater because it's still cold. My little suitcase packed up and my camera stuff. Goodbye little apartment. Okay, also though, it's actually sunny today. Well, there's blue sky, so this is a win the view from outside. I've been on the second floor. My stay wasn't too crazy, so I didn't really accumulate that much stuff, which was so great, but said goodbye to the apartment. There's the other apartment that's next door on the second floor. There's only two on each floor. Dropped off the keys, and then they have these trash and recycling chutes, which is also where the mail gets dropped off at the front door. So technically, you don't have to go outside to throw out trash, which is great. And then I met up with my mom at Venero's. We got these fruit tarts, so good. Veneros has yet to do me wrong and I shouldn't be saying that, but it's so cozy and warm and I just love it in there. And then we took the train up to Central Park. I had my ice skates and we went ice skating for a little while, which was so much fun. 
And then after that, we went to Koreatown to get one last meal before she left. We tried Jongro barbecue, and because it was the middle of the day on a Wednesday, it wasn't busy. I got this kimchi bibimbap, and so did my mom. So, so good. Would totally recommend. But then, how to say goodbye. Officially back in the dorm now. Need to unpack everything now. Everyone's like either at Bobes or the library. So, girl, my hair's been weird. I'm like, I don't know which way to put it. I have so much homework to do, though, because Friday, as soon as I get out of class, I'm gonna go upstate for a film shoot all weekend and I don't come back till Monday. I need to grind tonight But I'm also just kind of like a little tired. My linen lavender candle is on. It's on <gasps> It's lit. Lavender is my favorite scent ever. I also say lit a lot I'm like turning into my dad This is such a weird vlog because I finished unpacking everything from my stay at the apartment and then I started to do some work and I kind of just chilled out because I've been out and about all week. But literally, as you're gonna see tomorrow, I had to pack again to go upstate for my film internship. So that's why I stayed inside and spent the night doing homework and hanging out with Tara and Heather who I haven't seen in what felt like forever. Hello, here's back and Sometimes I take it down for you guys because I want to look a little more put together, but besties, we're just going to deal with it. I'm feeling... Today was a little bit of a hectic morning because I am supposed to have my 9 hour sight and sound class today at 9 a.m., but I talked to my professor last week because basically I just had an interview. It's for Tish. Like, there's only one slot available left, so it was today during my class. And he was so nice, so he let me go I'm in late for it. So now I'm at home. Um, I'm heating up some leftover Indian food for lunch right now. And I also had, like, at 9 a.m. this morning, I had a networking call with this woman who does freelance animation and she has an animation studio, which was really fun because basically my internship, the woman that runs it and that I work with, she tries to network me with someone every week. And so she knows that my interests are in directing and animation. So this week was like an animation person and I got to talk to her, which was really great. And then I had my interview and yeah, just so much going on. So I feel like a working woman today, but basically going upstate tomorrow. Oh my God, literally tomorrow. So I'm just gonna do work for the rest of the day now. So I have no nighttime classes and we're gonna grind. I'm going to eat some curry and naan bread right now. And then we're gonna go do work. Spring break is literally so soon. It's kind of crazy next weekend. Life is so busy but I just made another TikTok. <laughs> I cannot be stopped. I should be though. Ate what was left of our coconut curry, warmed up the naan bread in the oven, so delicious. And then I changed again. This is probably like my third outfit change of the day, but convinced myself that it was okay to spend $8 on a Starbucks coffee. And then went to Bob's, found a really great table all to myself by the window. Guys, I've been going to the eighth floor kind of weird vibes really don't see anyone i know there which is actually great but then i had the most humbling experience of my life my hydro flask had been leaking in my backpack earlier so i tightened it so much before i left that i literally could not get the top off for 10 minutes and sent that video to tara as proof finished editing the video for that weekend and the thumbnail which was important because i was going to be gone upstate and then had to walk to chelsea to pick up a prop for the shoot stopped at trader joe's just to get a couple things to like survive the next couple days Um, so test is negative. I had to do a negative COVID test and send that in before leaving tomorrow. So she's done. Started packing. I filmed like a whole video on what I packed and like just more like details about my internship and how I got it. If that's interesting to you, you can go see that. We need dinner now and then I have to wash my hair and we need to go to sleep soon because this weekend the shoot is like two days are four to four, so 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. So besties, I need my sleep. Okay, now I've officially finished all of the Indian leftovers. We were just kind of munching. It was so good, she will be missed. And then took a shower, got ready for bed, had some tea that night and did homework all night. As you can see, we're just grinding busy girl boss working woman out here. So working on a step outline for a screenplay for my history of editing class, which I had Friday morning actually. Friday was really crazy. Went to my like three hour lecture, had to order a head sweet green so I had time to pick it up and and then ran home, literally devoured that so fast. K 
came home to an old postcard from Porter from when he was at his summer camp. It was the funniest thing ever, but I was so stressed because then I had to like bus slash walk to Grand Central Station and I somehow made it on my 1.40 p.m. train upstate. The train ride was about like two and a half hours and I got picked up and went straight to set from there. I packed myself some little old Halloween candies. Like you can judge me if you want to, but those M&Ms hit so good. Fell asleep on the train, listened to my silly little music, saw the rivers, pretty decent time. But this video was really long, so comment a flower emoji if you watched all the way through through and I'll respond with one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!